Get verse um. Give me that. Uh, verse twelve. No, get Isaiah sixty-six and verse uh, verse five. Isaiah sixty-six, verse five. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 5. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Ye that actually keep his commandments, hear the word. Go ahead. Your brethren that hated you. Your brethren that hated you. Go ahead. That cast you out for my name's sake, said, let the Lord be glorified. Let Israel be in peace. But he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. Because they're going to die. A noise That's of all I want. Oh, okay. Because they're going to die. Brother that hated you, they're going to die. You shall get glory. They're not. They're not going to get it. Get Jude 11. Jude, verse 11. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain. Cain means they had their brother. They despise, hold on, they despise their brother. Cain, as it goes back to that brother saying that they can't be destroyed. That's Cain. That's the spirit of Cain right there. Go ahead. And ran greedily after the era of Baalim for reward. Yeah, that's money. Hucksters, merchants, all about money. Sin sticking close between buying and selling. Go ahead. And perished in the gainsaying of Korah. And did what? And perished in the gainsaying of Korah. And they died in the gainsaying of Korah. What does gainsay? Look up gainsay, please. And perished in the gainsaying of Korah. Gainsay. Deny or contradict a fact or statement. Deny, dispute, disagree with, argue with, dissent from, contradict, repudiate, 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 challenge, oppose, contest, counter, controvert, rebut, rebut. rebut. So that's speak against or oppose someone. That's the core was doing. And Dathan and Abraham were doing. And the 250 princes were doing, and the thousands of Israel that got put to death afterwards the next day were doing. The gainsaying of Korah. That was an ancient clique, what you call it today. A clique. So you realize it says the gainsaying of Korah, who wanted, who sought preeminence. That's what he wanted. Korah wanted preeminence. All right? Now, let's get verse 11 in Jude again. Number, verse verse uh, 12. Verse 12, these are spots in your feasts of charity. That's now. You got brothers in, amongst us right now watching class. There are spots in our feasts of charity. There are spots at Passover. There are spots in the Sabbath. There are spots at Pentecost. There are spots at First Fruits. There'll be a spot if they stay that long. There'll be a spot at Hanukkah too. New moon, there'll be a spot there. Go ahead. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. They'll, those be in contact with those who hate us while they sit amongst us. Shalom, brother. Most high grace bless. While, while speaking evil of us to somebody that left out of here. Go ahead. Clouds they are without water. No understanding. Carried about, carried about of winds. Indecisive, unstable. Trees whose fruit withereth. Their spirit is gone. It's slowly leaving them. Without fruit. Twice dead. Why? Because you were dead in the world. Repenting or you're dying again. Slower. Plucked up by the roots. Losing wisdom. It's going to mean you're going to be put to death. Next verse. Raging waves of the sea, foaming out of their own shame. Raging waves is something that's loud. That's vain jangling. Loud noise. Nonsense. Foaming out their own shame, their own doctrine. Go ahead. Wandering stars. Wandering stars. You're wandering here. you all over the damn place. You ain't stable at all. Go ahead. To whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Some people in this room. In other schools, are meant to be like this forever. They're going to wander out of here and remain that way until death comes. That's their lot. Ezra said that, Ezra made, made a statement. He says they're born in vain. I mean, you, you're just born for no reason. You're just here just to die. You're just here to keep the fire burning. That's all you're here for. You can't fire. You nuclear can't fire. Really, yes, you really are, I'll be honest. Nuclear can't fires. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 10. Jeremiah 14, 10. Yeah, it's like Paul said, man, examine yourself. Make sure you're not their spirit. That means, that's like Paul keeps saying, examine yourself, examine yourself. Brothers, wait, where, you know what I mean, supposed to be changing, they ain't changing them thing. Now, when Satan come, 
we have class like that. You mm -hmm. understand? When we've been building you for years for, for things to come. But now you're caught up in your own emotional feeling. Yep. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 14, chapter 14, verse 10. This is a precept for wandering stars. Right? Thus saith the Lord unto this people. Thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore, the Lord doth not accept them. He will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. They're going to die. They love to wander. They're all over the place. They're in this doctrine. They're in that doctrine. They're here. They're there. They reserve for darkness. Jeremiah is saying this. Judah is repeating what Jeremiah was saying. They reserve for darkness. He will remember this. He will revisit their sins. Why we visit them? Because they repented from them and they go back to them again. So now I'm going to visit you for all your sins now. Wherever, you, wherever I forgot, I'm going I'm to pull against you now. Wandering stars. Just 2 Peter 2 and, 2 and 9. Seven demon, man. Yeah, I'm going to get to that later. 2 Peter 2 and, and 9. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Read it again. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. Stop. The reason why we teach these classes is to, is to basically encourage and to exhort those of you in here who are still growing, who are still learning, to remain steadfast in what you've learned. That's what Paul told Timothy, war, good warfare. Because it's a spiritual battle we face every day, whether it be in the world, whether it be at home, whether it be at work. It's a battle we face every day. The world is against us. All the time. Satan is looking to destroy each and every one of you in this room. Day by day. You are a target. You are a spiritual or physical target. And so it's your job, to, like you mentioned earlier in class today, to build up yourselves. We can't do it for you. You got to build yourselves up to understand that. We are a world living within a world. A world that doesn't want us around. And you have Negroes in here who are delinquent or derelicts who seek to try to merge the two together. So it's a compromise. If we can have the world and the truth at the same time, we're going to get you put to death. Read again. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. So these doctrines that come, again, that come out of here, or, or leave out of here, they're very tempting. You get to enjoy your weekends. You get to work. You get your overtime. You get to catch the sales in the, in the stores, weekend sales. Black Friday, you can enjoy Black Friday. You know, you can enjoy the clubs, you know, all of that. It's tempting. So it says the Lord knows how to deliver the godly, it says, out of temptations. Because those of you who are godly aren't going to fall for you. Go, listen, nah, I'm good. I pass. I don't want that. Go ahead. And to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 19. We're going to come back to that. To reserve the ungodly out of temptations. Let's see if Paul said something like that. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 19. For there must be also heresies among you. Read again. For there must be also heresies among you. There must be. That's a, that's a hard saying alone. He says there must be heresies. Meaning there must be reprobates. There must be those who are reserved for darkness. They're the ones that got to bring the heresies to you to burn in the first place. Demons, they have to exist. Go ahead, Lava. Yeah, you know that that's, that's a, when you think about it, that's a white fight. Because a lot of us, what we're dealing with, we're dealing with uh, a spirit of hypocrite. With the Lord, the Lord going to try every one of us. You understand? For what, what the Lord said, there must be heresy among us. Guess what? This brother around you say, yo, I'm loyal, man. I've always been loyal since I was in the world. I was no, no, nigga. Listen, we need you to be loyal with the Lord in here. You understand? But these are the same brother being out of shape. You understand? But they will be out here with the best salute. You understand? So the Lord said there must be heresy to try who? The fake that is among us. That's what the heresy is. It's to try the fake brother, the fake sister that's among us. You understand? They're in here. They're in here gossiping. They're in here. They ain't fixing nothing. You understand? The Lord said, you know what? There must be heresy in here. So I must know who's with me, who's not with me. You understand? That's what heresy is. Who's with the Lord? Who's not with the Lord? But you notice something. Like I, we about to talk, Bishop. I said, 
You know who's not going to be with the Lord. You know how they're going to come about. They're going to go against the commandments or they're going against the finance. Those are the two spirits you're going to see. They're not going to go against anything else. They're going to attack the law or attack the finance. Then surely watch everybody that left. That's not the case. <laughs> you understand? You have to see that the Lord has to make sure he knows who he is. That's why heresy must be. That's why Christ wrote the parable. Christ said, he said, listen, eat of, eat of my flesh, drink my blood. He knew. He said he knew. People say, eat his flesh, drink his blood. That, that Negro's a cannibal. I'm, I'm not on him, man. I'm out of here, man. This dude's crazy. He knew when, who was going to leave. He knew who was going to stay. He didn't want them. They're dead weight. He had a he had mad followers. He said, I got to clear, clear the room. Some of these guys are full of crap. Let me and me make it clear. Let me say something hard for them to understand. Even the disciples was like, yo, what are you talking about? Peter was like, yo, he said, drink his blood, boy. You know? He said, you can, do I offend you? So he blasted his disciples. You going to leave too? Nah, we good. We ain't leaving. Because he had to make sure who was low, who wasn't. And even in the midst of him, even in the midst of that purge, you had one that's still there, Judas. He ain't leave. He stayed. Read again, 19. For there must be also heresies among you that they which are approved Godly. may be made manifest among you. That's how you know who's real. Separate the real from the fake. I got to bring doctrines in. I got to bring them spirits in there. See what I can see. I'm going there. Okay, now, now, Lord, you're going there and purge them out. All right, no problem. I got it. All right, I know who I'm going to get. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get him over there because he's envious. He hates him over there. He hates the Sabbath. She hates, she hates the Sabbath. Let me grab them over here. I'll take them. And they'll grow some more. Go back to um, Peter again, 2 Peter 2, read verse 10. 2 Peter 2 and 10. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 10. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Despise government means they despise discipline. They despise order, instruction. They despise it. And they're self-willed. They already have their own preconceived agenda on what they want to do. It's not about the doctrines. It's about the, it's, it's about the convenience. That's all it's about. And they're not afraid to speak evil of leadership. Dignities is the leadership that's set above them. This goes back to the spies and the government. Dignities are the men that taught them, right? Get them. Um, read on, read down, read down. Where you at? Whereas, oh, verse 11. Yeah. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. Because they, that's their role. Go ahead. But these, as natural brute beasts. Natural, sensual, sinful, emotional, same thing. Made. Brute, hold on, brute meaning dumb, dumb beasts. Go ahead. Made to be taken and destroyed. Go back to being reserved. Made to be taken and destroyed. Born in vain. That's what Ezra said in Ezra. Born in vain. Go ahead. Speak evil of things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And take many along with them. Go ahead. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. To be wicked while they're around the truth. Go ahead. Spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Go ahead. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Now, oh, I'm sorry. We again sporting themselves what? It says, verse 13, bottom part. Sport, it says, spots they are and blemishes. Sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Now, sporting themselves with their own deceivings. I'm going to tell you something real quick. Hold on. Give me one second. Bless me. Bible talk. Hold on. Is, uh, uh, read that verse again one more time. It says, spots they are and blemishes. I mean, think about it, right? You have brothers and sisters. They're up in here, feast playing. You know what I mean? We having a good time. I mean, uh, many days of atonement pass. Many days of atonement pass. You know what I mean? Then, uh, you know what I mean? It's just like these captains and these officers, we learn how to trust each other. You know what I mean? Uh, we learn how to trust each other with our family, this and that, right? 
But that that brother would like the 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 wicked brother, he'd be right in the mix. Then you would think that's you know what I mean? you would think that brother will. Then that's the brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You say, brother, we always thought you get rid of that that spirit. You know what I mean? It's gonna caught up with you down the line. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When y'all see things going on, when you see leadership take take the first wall and bring some out. We already been talking to brothers and sisters. You understand? He's not that. He just, hey, yo, you ain't your own. You understand? We've been, yo, fix that. Fix that. This is, this is your problem. Fix this. Fix that. Then when the devil come now, it's not we can do for you. Right. You know I mean? It's not we can do. Brother, 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 um, I'm not going to mention the state. I'm going to be nice. Uh, brother, um, decided to leave us. He decided to leave. And another brother who was talking with him said, listen, bro, why are you leaving? He explains, oh, the wicked shit, leadership is wicked. This and that. The third, um, I, and he, go, he goes, well, brother, the doctrine that the brother brought out, I see it too. I mean, the, the heresy. He said, I see it also, but I'm not going to leave because of that because um, remember when Deacon Athan had told us that um, the elder didn't see the whole Africa thing. He didn't see it at first, and Deacon Athan brought it to him. He not did it first, but then he eventually got it. So the same thing for me. You know, I don't, I, maybe, maybe, maybe later on in time, the leadership doesn't see the sunrise thing, but over time they will see it. They will never see it. Ever, ever see it? Um, he goes, but maybe they'll see it in time, you know. So just be, you know, be patient, and bear with them. So I want to share something real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna merge them together. I mentioned to the elder about the elder did curse me out. He said, "Yo, you trying to bring heathens in the air?" I said, "Oh, the Israel's in Africa, man." So and so, because back then we, he said, "Listen, it, some of y'all know." He said, "Israel, uh, um, Ham, Africa, Africa's all Ham, whatever, right?" Then over time, as time went on, we start to say, "Okay," we start getting a lot of. A lot of wisdom start coming in. We start getting a lot of phone calls from over there. So he says, yo, man, listen, there's getting a lot of phone calls from over there. The elder says, okay, information you got, let me get, let me get some information. The elder start researching it. We start researching together. He said, okay. And then we start bringing things out. But I didn't get spirits and go, oh, they're zoring off. I'm going to do my own thing. This is an Africa. I'm going to go over. I didn't do that. I go, he don't see it now. He don't see it. And I sat back. And the Lord brought it out in, this, in the time he wanted to come out. Because I didn't, I didn't take it. I didn't, I didn't get in my feelings. It is what it is. But I'm going to knock two birds in one stone. He said, we may see it like the Africa thing, right? We may see the Sabbath sunrise thing like the Africa thing, right? The other saw. Two birds in one stone. Give me that book, please. This is a book. I uh, may name this for now because I don't have it yet. Because <laughs> Esau going to make it $3,000. So I wait till I get it. This is, uh, uh, this is some, uh, you know, from Jez. You always find stuff. This is from a book about the Yodobas. Yodobas. Um, go there. Read that real quick. Up in the top. This is chapter eight. Measurements of time. This is how the Yorubas, Yorubas measure, te, measure time. Yorubas are our people in West Africa. Go ahead. The Yorubas reckon time by moons and weeks. Mm -hmm. A moon or month period. is the period of time between one new moon and the next. And as is the case with all peoples who count by lunar months, the day commences at sunset. Where? At when? sunset. When the day commence? At sunset. When the day commence? At sunset. Those who observe moons, our days begin when? When the sun goes what? Where? Down. Go ahead. That is at the hour at which a new moon would ordinarily be first perceived. That's all I want. So even in West Africa, we would maintain the, set, the days sundown to sundown. That's all I want. So again, we're never going to see that. We're never gonna see it because it's historic. It's in the Bible, and it's in history. Right. So, so, go right. Ahead. Right. And and you you brother that you brother that made that statement. You know you don't need to be no have no rank amongst us. You just right. just sit down and learn. Right. You understand straight up, and that's the judgment we brought on that right. situation. You know what I mean? It's either you gonna sit down and learn and get your mind right. You know, get your spirit right because if you two are even. Well, I see the same thing. Then you need to go with these dudes. We ain't playing with none of you brothers and sisters in Israel. We don't need no evil amongst us. Mm -hmm. You understand? Any one of you all think you all going to break that, um, you all believe in that garbage? You all could go. Go and join them. You yeah, understand? You Just go. Like you understand? We, you know, for real. Yeah, when you let a door like that open, man, with, you, you understand? Not say I don't understand it, but you said I see it. Right. That means that that's a big difference. I don't understand it when you say, I see it. That's a big difference. Right. You understand? That Satan can use you in that statement. Right. You that's understand? A, that's an unstable spirit. That's wavering. You're wavering. You, you, you're, you're teetering. You're, you're, you're on the fence. 
You can't lead like that. You can't be a leader like that. You're lukewarm at this point. And to say that we may come um, realize it one day, we're never going to realize that because too many facts go against it. And, the, and first and foremost, the biggest source that goes against it is the Bible, the law. Now, go to, um, read on, 2 Tim- Peter 2, you were in verse uh, thir- 13. You want yeah, me to start 13 again? 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 13. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime, spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings. They are deceived themselves. They're in their own deceivings of their own. While while they, what? While they feast with you. While they're with you. Go ahead. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Watch this. Beguiling unstable souls. That's the problem. Beguiling unstable souls. Unstable souls. Wavering. Go ahead. And heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray following the way of Baalim. Maybe. Go ahead. The son of Basor. For money. Go who ahead. loved the wages of, uh, of unrighteousness. That's all I want. So again, again, we have to be mindful of those of you who are amongst us who are all wavering and unstable, sporting yourselves with us in your own non- nonsense while being with us. We have, be mindful, we have to be mindful of that. Be very, very mindful of it. Let's get um, Romans 16, verse 17. I mentioned it earlier. I'm going to go into it again. Romans 16, verse 17. Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions uh-huh. and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Verse 18, so I want. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. But what? But their own bellies. But they're themselves. They serve themselves. Go ahead. And by good words and fair speeches. Good words and fair speeches or classes. Fair de- speeches, go ahead. Deceive the hearts of the simple. Of what? Deceive the hearts of the simple. No, deceive the hearts of the wise. Deceive the hearts of the simple. Deceive the hearts of the simple. The unstable. Unstable brothers. The wavering sisters, brothers. That's who's deceived. That's who's beguiled. Yes, 2 Samuel 15, verse 4. 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 4. Absalom said, moreover, oh, that I were made judge in the land. Absalom was a son of David. And Absalom, son of David, wanted to, wanted to be the head Negro in charge. He wanted to be in his father's position. He wanted to be leader, king. And so he began to conspire and do, make exploits to assure that rulership. And it took him, he plotted for 40 years. I'm going to say it again. He plotted 40 years to overthrow his father. And that spirit was in him. So this is after David did that, thing with the, did that murder thing. So the Lord started to raise up spirits among, around David to force some spirits out that were amongst him to attack him. This is, when, this is right after David had um, killed Uriah. He started ra- bringing evil into, um, into his home. The Lord started bringing evil into his home. Because even though with Absalom, that, that, that brother was new. His anyway. spirit was not right, man. Right. So the Lord, went, you have to see how the Lord operate. The Lord give you time to fix yourself. Just like Judas Iscariot. He mm-hmm. had time to fix himself. Mm-hmm. I mean, they give him the, uh, the money bag. He got time to say, yo, I cannot do that. You understand? It's the same thing when you see brothers among you. They got times to fix themselves, man. Torment after a torment, class after class. Then you, then you sit back. You see, and let me see how far the brother will take it. Then you like, he don't learn anything. He don't have no foundation of anything. What the hell you sit up in here for? Then uh, Absalom was, he was a genius in what, the way he operated too. You, you would think that a brother, you know what I mean? When you read about Absalom, you understand? Like he would have think he's for you. If I would judge you, I would judge you differently than w- what my pop would do it. The way he sound like, you would think he's for you. <laughs> That's why brother, they say, yo, yo, same thing about the new moon. Are you, I see they double in the new moon. But brother, we're not talking about the new moon right now. We're talking about heresy. <laughs> we're not talking about the new moon right now. <laughs> yep. Read on. Second Samuel chapter 15, verse 4. Absalom said, moreover, oh, that I were made judge in the land. That every man which hath any suit or cause might come unto me 
And I would do him justice. And I would do him justice. I would do right by him. Because obviously David wasn't, right? Go ahead. That's what he's saying. Go ahead. And it was so that when any man came nigh to him to do him obeisance, obeisance, he put forth his hand and took him and kissed him. Jocelyn was very charming. He took the man's hand and he kissed his hand. How you doing, brother? Now remember, this is the king's son kissing hands. That's manipulation. Guy had his, guy was gaming people. Go ahead. And on this manner did Absalom to all Israel that came to the king for judgment. He did it to everybody. Go ahead. So Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. See what he did? He's a damn politician. Stole the hearts of the people away from his father. Go ahead. And it came to pass after 40 years that Absalom said unto the king, I pray thee, let me go and pay my vow, which I have vowed unto the Lord in Hebron. For thy servant vowed a vow while I abode at Jeshur in Syria, saying, If the Lord shall bring me again indeed to Jerusalem, then I will serve the Lord. And the king said unto him, Go in peace. So he arose and went to Hebron. But Absalom sent spies throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, He did what? But Absalom sent spies throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, As soon as ye hear the sound of the trumpet, then ye shall say, Absalom reigneth in Hebron. And, when, and with Absalom went 200 men out of Jerusalem that were called and that went in their simplicity, and they knew not anything. Because they were dumb. And Absalom. Because they were dumb. They went in their simplicity. Not knowing anything, just follow this dude blindly, found this moron, blindly. All right? Now, get chapter 17, verse 8. When you read later on, Absalom gets put to death. He gets put to death. Now, when you read about a man named Ahithophel, Ahithophel was David's oracle. All right? This man was like a walking Bible. And David relied on this man. All right, and this man turned on David. All right, he turned on David and sided with Absalom. And so it's the most I did to him for doing that. Chapter 17, verse 8. 2 Samuel, chapter 17, verse 8. For said Hushai, thou knowest thy father and his men, that they be mighty men, and they be chaffed in their minds. No, 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 give verse 7. 2 Samuel, chapter 17, verse 7. And Hushai said unto Absalom, the counsel that Ahithophel had given is not good at this time. So Ahithophel was a wise counselor, and he always, without fail, gave wise counsel. Hushai said, yo, what he just said, that was stupid. Don't do that, what he just said. Follow this advice instead. Hushai, go ahead. For said Hushai, thou knowest thy father and his men, that they be mighty men, and they be chaffed, in their minds, as a bear robbed of her whelps in the field. And thy father is a man of war, and will not lodge with the people. Behold, he is hid now in some pit, or in some other place. And it will come to pass, when some of them be overthrown at the first, that whosoever heareth it will say, there is a slaughter among the people that follow Absalom. So he said, listen, man, you plotting to kill your father. Your father and his men are warriors. They'll destroy you. Don't come near David and his men. These guys are like bears that lost their babies. <laughs> They'll destroy you. And the people will say, those who follow you got put to death. Don't fight your father and his men. They'll destroy y'all. Read the next verse. And he also that is valiant, whose heart is as the heart of a lion, shall utterly melt. And the toughest men that you can think of when fighting against David, their heart will melt. Because David and them are warriors. Don't mess with your father. Leave him alone. He's giving them a good counsel, right. too. Right. Hushai is. Go ahead. For all Israel knoweth that thy father is a mighty man, and they which be with him are valiant men. Everybody knows your father can throw hands. And his men, and his men will wash your men. Don't be stupid. <laughs> They'll wash you. Don't do that. They so, Hush, go ahead. Therefore, I counsel that all Israel be generally gathered unto thee, from Dan even to Beersheba, as the sand that is by the sea for multitude, 
and that thou go to battle in thine own person. You're going to fight David. Fight him yourself. You, you gather a lot, huge army, then you attack them. Don't just send some men to go attack this dude because they will lose and they'll blame you for it. And when you read later on, Hatifel realized, I gave a dumb counsel. He went home and killed himself because the Most High made him an idiot after. That's what happened. David prayed to the Lord, remove his wisdom from him, Lord. And Hatifel realized it and said, up, oh, hung himself. That was it. So he knew he lost wisdom. So whenever you become a traitor, or a defector, the Lord will judge you correctly. And then that dude, uh, that dude counsel does not fail. Never. He would say he's he he's an never of fail. He's always there. You know what I mean? When they're asking, he's ne his word never fails. Right. And you Hushai took his place. Yep, that's right. The Lord always finds a placement. Yeah, that's right. For one to leave, one always fall behind better. Yeah. Never, never fails. Jews Iscariot betrayed the Lord, got replaced <laughs> by someone better. It never fails. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.